There are more than 400,000 NCAA student athletes. NCAA on campus is their story. Hi everyone, I'm Kat Anderson and welcome to this week's edition of NCAA on campus. You can now catch us weekly here on NCAA.com with stories of the incredible people and schools of the NCAA. For this week's story, we head to Wabash College in Crawfordsville, Indiana. Our student athlete host is Kyle Grand, a senior majoring in rhetoric and the long snapper for the football team. Kyle brings us the story of a special track and field athlete who knows what it means to give back. Thanks, Kat. Welcome to Wabash College, one of just three non-religious, four-year, all-male colleges left in the U.S. Our school was founded in 1832, and in 1890, we played our first football game against DePaul University, located just 30 miles away. Ours is the oldest college rivalry west of the Alleghenies, and it's been a close one. The winner receives the Monon Bell Trophy, and in 116 games, there have been nine ties, 53 wins by DePaul, and I'm proud to say 54 wins by the Little Giants. Talk about domination. Kevin McCarthy is a two-time All-America on our track and field team, the school record holder in the 1500, and a cross-country runner. But last summer, the Dean's List pre-med major found himself running in the hills of rural Appalachia as a medical volunteer, helping serve in one of the country's most impoverished areas. It was very eye-opening. Um, it's amazing that um, the world that we live in here and now in modern uh, Indianapolis or Crawfordsville area is uh, so different than where I went five and a half hours away from here, in the middle of the Daniel Boone National Forest. And it's in Leslie County. It's one of the poorest counties in the nation. The health problems that they face there are, are, are so foreign to compared to here. Um, most of the people that I met down there were obese. Um, about 90% of them smoked. So I stuck out pretty well. I want to be involved in the medical field because not only is it something that I'm interested in, I really enjoy the material and I really enjoy learning that, but it is a venue where I can take the knowledge that I'm learning and the work that I'm going to be putting into and transform that into a service and an ability to help other people. And that's something that really connects with me. Wabash is a place that fosters leadership and the character that you're looking for. But a lot of the medical service that has been fostered has actually been from my grandpa. Uh, he was a medical doctor. Um, he, was a, he was a family doctor uh, back over in Fishers in Indianapolis, um, who actually just retired this last June from 44 years of service. Kevin's decision to attend all-male Wabash was the right one for him. That's actually one of the biggest stumbling blocks to recruiting kids from high school. It's like, hey, give up four years of girls um, and uh, come hang out with us, bunch of bros. The running joke is that there's less distractions. Um, and that actually may be true. The brotherhood that's here that's formed with the students that are on campus is a campus-wide thing. There's a sense of masculinity on this campus and expectation that's presented from the gentleman's rule and from the idea of being a man on this campus. I love the school here. It has everything that I want out of a college. Um, the, the reason why you go to college, at least in my mind, is to get a degree. Um, and that is the first and foremost that's at Wabash College. And what's awesome about Wabash is that it provides so many opportunities for me not only to excel as a, as a student, but to be a student athlete. And so I rarely have any conflicts between my athletics and my academics. Um, for example, all my classes end at 4 o'clock and practice starts at 4.20. Kevin's success on the track is even more impressive considering he never competed in track until his senior year of high school. In high school, I, I did soccer till my junior year um, and also I did swimming in there in my sophomore year and I was looking for, I was kind of on the cusp between varsity and JV and I was looking for a sport that I could not only challenge myself but I'd be able to participate in 100% so I went up to my mom and was like, mom, what do you think if I went up for the cross country team and she said, sure. I discovered a natural ability that I had um, that carried me through soccer and that was just manifest itself in running. So I think God just gave me some really long legs, so that helps. Kevin has a 3.6 GPA in biology with a double minor in chemistry and Spanish. And he is a leader in whatever he does. 
I am one of the two captains. I'm kind of the guy that a lot of the athletes come to if they have problems and stuff like that. I'm also an RA on campus and I'm involved in different responsive responsibility clubs and stuff like that on campus. Uh, actually, the War Council is a Wabash Act Responsibility Council that um, is funded by the NCAA um, for alcohol and substance abuse. So students on the athletic team know that I'm a guy that they can come to if they have any problems. Everything I do, I give 100%. Thanks, Kevin, and thanks to NCAA On Campus for visiting Wabash College. If you've been following On Campus, you know that we did a segment with former President Miles Brand called Ask Miles, where he answered questions from student athletes. Well, this fall, Dr. Mark Emmert became president of the NCAA and just the fifth CEO in the organization's history. We'd like to welcome Dr. Emmert to On Campus and continue the tradition with his segment we now call Ask Mark. Hi, Dr. Emmert. I'm Amber Johnson from the Lamont Owen College. I'm a senior basketball player, and I'm a little worried about getting a job. I'm graduating in the spring, so I was wondering what kind of internships the NCAA has. The NCAA uses internships, Amber, in pretty much every aspect of our work. Each of the various departments here in the national offices have, uh, have opportunities for interns to come in and work in each of the different kinds of components. So whether it's in championships or in public relations or in enforcement, you can find internship opportunities that uh, abound here. We'd love to talk to you about uh, your chances of being an intern here with us. In my first months on the job, I've had the opportunity to get out on a number of campuses and visit conference offices and go to a, a number of different venues to watch sporting events. It's been really a thrill for me to interact with student athletes around the country, to chat with coaches and ADs and commissioners, and I look forward to doing it more throughout my tenure as president of the NCAA. So don't hesitate to invite me to come visit. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching On Campus. Check out new stories every week at NCAA.com. And please send your comments and story suggestions to us at NCAA On Campus at NCAA.org. Thanks for watching and remember to make the most of your time on campus.